This AQ! AQ! And the baby's coming out. Fellas, again, focus on yourself. That's what it is. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy AQ, and I'm back with another reaction video for you guys today. And today we're going to do a reaction video from Pop the Balloon or Fine Love. Man, let's jump right into the video. All right, all right. So who do we have here? Can you say your name and age? My name is Chad Brown, and I'm 32. All right, so Chad Brown, what is your occupation? I work in finance, and I do consulting on the side as well. Okay, finance and consulting. Um, so what brings you here today? Well, you know, I've been single for a little while now, and I'm just looking for a woman that uh, can, you know, help me be a better man. Okay. Woman that will help him be a better man. Okay, so what is your ideal woman? Looking for a woman who is intelligent, sweet, um, nurturing, kind, um, and also has a sense of humor. Okay. All right. All right. Now, do you have any deal breakers? <laughs> Cigarettes. If you smoke cigarettes, <laughs> okay. um, I cannot be associated with you. Okay. Okay. All right. So we have a few pops here. Yo, it's crazy, bro. This man just said he's looking for a woman who is nurturing, kind, all the good things. And he's looking for that on a dating show. It's like, come on, fellas. We got to do better, man. The only type of chicks you're supposed to look for on a dating show is chicks who you're just trying to smash and dash. Nothing serious. Facts. Let's go ahead and figure out why they popped the balloon, all okay. right? Okay, we'll start here. Can you please introduce yourself and name and age? Yes, hi. My name is Ms. Juella DeVille. I'm Pleasure 34. I'm from Newark, New Jersey. And I pop because you're younger than me. So I, I'm into like older guys. Not saying you're immature or it takes away from you but i like older i appreciate that yeah but you you're handsome your your gear is flies you know thank you. like that thank you very and much. i love everything about your swag thank you you're welcome okay right. now i know she popped but she your type she's very attractive okay thank you okay all right okay thank let's you. let's go yeah that shit is mad tacky bro a grown ass woman chewing a gum like that. You ain't got to question whether or not she's a bird. It's crazy. Go ahead and move on. <laughs> Let's keep moving. Okay, can you please introduce yourself? Your name, please. Uh, my name is Maya, and I'm 31. I only pop my balloon because he said he doesn't like girls that smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke cigarettes, but I smoke like I smoke. So you know. You smoke weed? Yeah. That's totally fine. No, but you know, sometimes the tobacco smell kind of mix in. It kind of smells like cigarettes sometimes. I don't know how you feel about that. So overall, that's why I found. Okay, understood. Okay. So are you are you fine with smoking marijuana? Her smoking marijuana? Yes. Okay. So so you don't have any problem with marijuana. Okay. The only problem you have is cigarettes. Okay. Is that that's cool. okay? That's cool. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, would you like her to pick up her balloon? If she would like to. Okay, no, we have, we have oh, to okay, pick okay. up to again. Okay, okay, that's All right, can we, get, can we get her a balloon? Can we get her a balloon? All right, okay. We'll bring her a balloon. All right, okay. <laughs> Damn, bro. Fellas, y'all got to pay attention to the signs, bro. Look at the way she dressed. She popped her balloon because she smokes. Not because she smokes cigarettes. It's because she said the something about the weed smelling like cigarettes. It's like, that shit is nasty, bro. And here's the reality. Women who smoke weed, it's easy for another dude to smash, bro. Those are the easiest women to smash. All you got to do is have a smoke session with them and a good conversation. That's it. They going. She's telling you she's a bird, but some men love to ignore the signs. Some men love to ignore the signs. That's crazy. 
All right, we have a pop here as well. Mm -hmm. All right, can you introduce yourself, name and age? My name is Camilla and I am 35 years old. I did not, well, I popped my balloon because you're too young. Okay, okay. Mm. All right, um, I mean, is she your type? Not exactly. Not exactly. That's all right. Okay. Mm. Ooh. Let's go. <laughs> okay, why is it he your type? Um, this is not my type. I like I like a little, you know. I don't know. You like a little. I'm not, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not. You can be honest. It's a safe life. space. No, you you look like a nice a nice looking young man. You go to church. I was raised religiously, but I don't continue okay. um, to go. I'm gonna keep my thoughts to myself. I mean, it's a safe space if you like to share. No. I mean, I got thick skin, so I no, don't know what you're good, afraid of. No, it's giving church. So that's okay. all. Got to one. She mentioned that I seem as though I take myself too seriously or I might be a churchy type guy. And I thought to myself, what the hell does that even mean? Like it makes no sense. It's August. He got a turtleneck on, he got a he got a he got a blazer on, he got a bunch of stuff on. Like, you're not my type either. You know what I'm saying? And then you carry in a purse, a satchel, whatever you want to call it. It looked like it's supposed to be a Bible in there. So Pretty much, yeah. Don't don't be mad at me. Y'all y'all push it out. Go ahead. No. Next contestant. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's go ahead. And move. Bro, just look at the way she dressed, fam. You know she's a bird. <laughs> she don't like this guy because he looks like a nice guy. He looks like he does everything right. He look like he's not rough around the edges. She need toxic energy, bro, to fuel her spirit. And that's all it really is, man. This, this is just a room full of birds, bro. It's crazy. Bug. All right, can you please introduce yourself, me, and age? Yes, I am Tia. I'm 32. I'm from New York. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, and why did you pop the music? Um... I tried to wait a little while, but I feel like you may take yourself a little too serious for me. Okay. I don't really know, but that's the impression I get. But you look nice. Like I like. Thank you. you. Look, you look nice. All right. Now, apart from that, him taking yourself too seriously that you think, right? Mm -hmm. Is he your type? Uh, well, I don't really have a type, but um, he's handsome. He's well dressed. That's two of my like main things that I like about Thank a man. You. So. Okay. All right. Now, is she your type? Though? She is. Wow. Okay. All right. Unfortunately, she popped her balloon. Yeah. But we'll go back. I know okay. there was a few that also popped their balloons here. Um, these two ladies. Let's go ahead and figure out why. Jordana, correct? Jordana, yes. Right, Jordana. Jordana. Yes, I'm Jordana. I'm 33. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't feel like there's anything wrong with your preference of smoking, but I am not a smoker. Um, so that's that's what weed or cigarettes just oh. it's not it's not for me <laughs> but you're very handsome you carry yourself very well um that's that's the only reason thank you the interesting thing is i don't smoke myself i prefer edibles but if someone around me were to smoke it's totally fine okay yeah. so i'm pretty straight and narrow never i don't smoke i don't drink much at all mm. don't i've never done an edible <laughs> um it's but, fun. but yeah that's just that's that's me <laughs> okay understood thank okay. you all right, let's go ahead and move forward. Can you yourself, name, age? Yes, hi, my name is Ray, and I'm 30 years young. Mm -hmm. um, I popped this, the balloon as well, pretty much same reasons. I'm not big into marijuana, no edibles, okay. no smoking. I hardly drink, so just not for me, but, mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going to yuck your yum. Okay, <laughs> thank you for that. Okay, now, I mean, apart from that, it's mm -hmm. yourself. I think he's a very handsome guy. I think he's, you know, seems very genuine, seems very honest and nice and everything, but not very much so my type. So All right. Um, not to be rude, but I just like a little bit more hair. Uh, you know, a little, you know. Hey, it's a strike. <laughs> God did it. God did it. But yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that's all. Okay. All right. Thank all right. you. I appreciate okay. it. Okay, so okay, let's let's come back. So all right. we still have two balloons still on. So uh, yes. There's potential potential of you finding love here, right? Mm -hmm. um, now, we would like to get to know the ladies. So is there any questions that you have for the ladies, the two the two ladies with their balloons on? Yes. What is a non-negotiable for you? Okay. Let's, go, let's go down. I'm not ready for that one. I'm not ready. Can you go to her? Okay. Go. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, I don't know. Okay. So you say you don't smoke, but you do edible. So that's why I'm going to skip that. 
Do you have kids? I don't have kids. Okay, so that's not one. I got none. That's usually so, a non negotiable. Right? So your your only non negotiable is kids. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. I got a cat though. That's about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should have never said that. You would have found out. I don't so. like cats. I'm a dog girl. <laughs> Straight okay. dogs. Why do you have a cat, Chad? I don't do cats, so that's the reason why I pop my balloon. There should be no reason why you have a cat. You should be a dog guy, you know? That's fine. All right, okay. Uh, let's find out why mm-hmm. she also pops. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't do guys with cats. But that's just me, preferably. I'm a dog girl. I mean, I have other animals, too, mm-hmm. but, like, I don't I don't. Can you cat thing. I'm also allergic, so that's the whole okay. another aspect to it. Like, I can't cuddle with a person who can cuddle with a cat. Yeah. Mm. Is but there... you're very attractive and Thank stuff. You. you put well Thank put you. together. Can I also know what's in there? It looks full. Um, phone, mints, um, beard comb. Okay. No, I was just wondering. Yeah. That was it. But can you explain the uh, stereotype associated with men and cats? What is the stigma behind cats and guys? Like, I don't, it's my preference. Like, I don't really know the stigma, but, like, the only pussy you should be around is mine. Um... Personally, for me, I just don't do cat dads. Like, I have a dog, so, like, Mm -hmm. I'd rather take our dogs to the dog park. And, like, to me, cats are more anti-social animals unless you have one of those rare, super cuddly cats. Mm -hmm. For me, I need, like, loving animals. And, like, yeah, that's just it for me. Okay. Understood. I appreciate your explanation. I mean, apart from that, is he also your type, though? He's attractive. He's attractive. What about you? Is she your type? She is. Okay. Yeah. I can feel it. I can feel it. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. All right. Okay. I, I, I'm glad that you love your animal, though. Yeah. <laughs> of course. Of course. Okay. All right. Let's 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 bring right. it back. Let's bring it back. So, unfortunately, all the ladies have popped their balloon. Mm-hmm. Uh, Sad, bro. Here's the reality, man. He's not coming off masculine enough as a man and the fact that he owns cats to the women it seemed like it confirmed what they were thinking about him women need masculine energy fellas it's just what it is the only type of women who will go after a man like that is a woman who likes him for him or if she's a bird and she's just trying to use him but the fact that he's a cat dad that's eternal that will make a woman pussy dry bro that's just the reality now there are a few chicks who will still rock with you but the majority of women will look at you kind of funny like nah he's not masculine enough for me and that's just what it is, man. But to each his own. This right here is crazy. Please leave your thoughts in the comments.